Shut up. Get over yourself, lady. You need to learn to look on the bright side. Not sure what that is for you, but, you know. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is uh, the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on the same difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed. Uh, our, we're playing on a map that's almost entirely made up of wasteland, generated by the nitrogen map generator. And we have one green bomb and one mega city, and we're looking for those things, uh, the green bomb in particular. And we haven't found it yet, so... Um, if you didn't catch the last episode, I left uh, left you guys off somewhere around in here, I think. So I've continued working my way east. We're, we're right on the northern edge of the map. Um, and, um, you know, nothing, of course, came in through here. I had to had to pick up the bike and do a little bit of hiking over the mountains here. And we've come kind of come this way. And um, our red marker is here. So this is the, you know, where I, I put it. But we're almost as far northeast as we can get and uh, I am starting to think we're not going to find either the mega city or the green biome uh, in the northeast it is getting uh, getting on in the day here so I think what we're going to do is what did I do that for? <laughs> uh, we're going to take over this POI here and we're going to hunker down for the night um, and then set off again in the morning so let's go ahead and clear this place we got an Edgar we got to take care of here first so let's deal with him hey fatso come here oh he's already dead oh uh, all right so let's see oh shit Fido Fido and a buzzard what the hell, man? What the hell? A little bit of paper action in the- Oh, shit! Rattlesnake. Everything here wants to eat me. So what else is new, right? <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... Might as well harvest all these guys. Another dog. Okay, we got a Cowboy Bob here. Cowboy Bob, is this your house? You mind if I spend the night, buddy? You're a, you're a hospitable type, aren't you? Okay. Beware of dog. You don't say. You don't say. Hey. That thing give us uh, brass? It does. Or a radiator, I should say, in particular. Nice. All right, let's uh, let's finish going around the outside of this place. Nice. And just uh, making sure there isn't any more surprises outside before we go inside. So we've had a few surprises outside already. I think that wishing well leads to an underground cavern. It's a booby-trapped place, actually, and it's kind of a pain in the ass to get out of if you fall down in there. <clears throat> Since we're collecting radiators, oh shit! Big mama. Here's someone outside. Sounds like there's someone coming from behind. Oh, there you go. It's Joe the zombie. Headless Joe the zombie. That's his new nickname. We're going to start calling him Headless. Okay, come here, dude. That's an Edgar, right? Oh, 
What in the hell? He's hitting the wall through the refrigerator? How does that work? Edgar, how do you do stuff like that? Inquiring minds want to know. Hold still! Good gravy. Man, what I wouldn't do for a Molotov right about now. Alright, we've softened him up pretty good. Let's just go in and blow him up. We got some crop plots there. Ooh, he's a feral egger. No wonder it took so many shots to kill him. Alright, this is our new home for tonight. Um... Oh, I bet you there's somebody in there. Or not. Vitamins, that's good, that's good. Okay, let's get our axe out here. Oh, weapons bag. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Okay, scrap a little of this. Um, let's take all of that. Now, this is our existing hunting rifle. This is... Oh man, look at that. This has eight plus eight damage without a mod. So that is a significant improvement over what we currently have. I already looked at that. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see here. Check this bookcase. Oh, baby! Ha ha ha! That's going to come in handy later on for sure. Oh man, that's going to come in handy. Okay. I'm planning on doing archery later, you guys. We're not quite at the point where we can effectively do archery yet, but uh, that is going to be the plan later on. Okay, we're like completely out of space. So let's go out here. Oh, let's get our mini bike. Excuse me. I'm getting tired in real life here. All right, we're just going to park the bike right outside here. And let's uh, offload a few things. And I'm gonna I'm gonna hang on to this for now. You know the advantage of having this is that the dirty water stacks like I don't know a lot, a lot whereas the clean water only stacks ten, which makes no sense whatsoever. It's just another one of those imposed limitations that the game puts on you. That makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. We're gonna we're gonna swap out these two. Modify. Uh oh, it's nighttime. Okay, so we just increased our the damage of our our sniper rifle slash honey rifle by twenty. That's freaking awesome, man. Um, this there's no point in keeping this, so let's scrap it. We'll get some rifle parts. I have some rifle parts back at the base too. So if at some point later on we you know, want to actually make a sniper rifle or something, we'll have some parts built up for that. All right, so let's go in the house. And uh, let's loot the kitchen. We'll rinse the bed. Oh. I hear a zombie outside. I do. Okay, we should be... We should try and be somewhat quiet here. Uh, we're going to scrap all this stuff because here again I got tons of that back at the base. We don't need it. Uh, let's harvest that. See, whatever that zombie is out there, it's very likely, or there's a high probability, I should say, that it's a feral. So we really don't want to mess with it. We don't have to. 
Alright. Plastic, we don't need any of that. We already have some coal in the bike. We'll scrap that. I'll take that jar for the moment, but I might not keep it. Nothing in the coffee pot. I think we can probably turn our light on and be okay in here. Okay, so scrap a doodle. Scrap the chairs. Uh, ditch the plastic. All right, let's make a campfire. Oh, we don't have any stone. Doggone it. All right, we're going to have to get some stone. one maybe even just one hit Whatever. I was going to try to put it on the stove, but... Oh, you know what else we could do? We could make more bacon and eggs, too. Let's do that. Alright, so we can make four bacon and eggs. That means we need 20 pieces of meat. Okay, so let's see. We need about a minute and ten seconds of cook time. That should do it. That'll give us seven bacon and eggs. Plus seven sham. So we're doing good on food. We are doing good on food. Faux show. Sure. Alright guys, well, um, I'm just going to hunker down here for the rest of the night. And then in, when the morning comes, the plan will be we're going to keep going east. We are almost to the eastern border. Though. We are super close to the eastern border. And my little red thing that I put up here, I, I probably put too far up. It's kind of too bad the map doesn't go a little further than it does, though. But anyway, we, we're, we'll go as far east and or northeast as we can, uh, or at least far enough to, to know for a certainty that there's no mega city or green biome. And then uh, we've pretty much, you know, covered, covered the north. Well, no, that's not true. We've we still got quite a bit of area down you know, in down through here that uh, could still have one of those biomes. So what we'll do is we'll start obviously heading south once we get as far northeast as we can. And who knows? Maybe we'll come across to one of those things. I, I'd like to, I'd like to f find the green biome first. What I would like to do, the chronological order of this series, the way that I would like it to happen, is I'd like to find the green biome. I'd like to hang out in the green biome for a time and get, you know, really geared up and leveled up and all that kind of thing and then go back out into the wasteland in search of the mega city and then kind of take over the mega city in the end game that's that's what i would like to do that's kind of what my plan is now if we happen to find the mega city before we find the green biome we could we could do that in reverse why did i just drink that i didn't need to can't take me anywhere uh we could do that in reverse if we find the mega city we could hang out of the mega city and get super leveled up there and then go find the green biome and build, you know, and build build our ultimate home, and we, we, we you know, at, at that point, from a role-playing perspective, we kind of made it to paradise, you know, and we retire in the green bomb sort of sort of idea. So we'll 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 see how it goes. I kind of like the first plan better. That that's really kind of what's been in my head all along. 
But, you know, if we do come across the mega city, I'm going to be reluctant to leave it because, you know, that's going to be the ultimate place for, for looting and resources and all that sort of thing. So anyway, we'll see how things go. But guys, I will see you in the morning and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so be back at a little after four. All right, guys, we are back and it is uh, morning and we seem to have uh, stirred up a few Zekers. I don't know if um, it's a running horde that's after us or just some that happened to be around. We got a twofer on there. So let's kill these guys and then we'll get ready to rock and roll. Is that an easy? Oh no. It's a pink shirt guy. Oh, there's easy right there. Okay. Ooh, that's a feral easy. Sucks to be you, dude. All right, so uneventful night, nothing crazy happened. We just kind of hunkered down, went AFK for a little bit. And uh, so, did I grab? Oh, yeah, here we go. So we're in good shape. We got seven um, uh, seven bacon and eggs, 15 clean water. And uh, I think we're ready to, to set, set on out here. So let's do it. So like I said, we're going to... We're going to continue uh, east. Let's make sure everybody's loaded here. We should be. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to continue east by northeast as far as we can go. Or or until we can determine for sure that there's, you know, no green or wasteland biome out here. Where'd he go? Oh, shit. And then uh, we'll start heading south. That is the plan, Stan. Looks like we've made it, guys, to the extreme northeastern end of the map. And there's no mega city here and no green biome. Okay. Yeah, see, all of this is just ocean. Um, well, actually, not, not even that. You get a little ways out, and then it just kind of goes off into a void. I know that from, uh, you know, testing these maps. And flying around in God mode. Excuse me. Ah. Okay, well, I think it's time for us to go south. Um, I'd kind of like to go southwest-ish. So we kind of you know, can see on both sides and as opposed to just staying on the coastline. 
So, yeah, let's do that. We do have a big mountain range, though, up there, so maybe we'll go around it this way. Shut up. Get over yourself, lady. You need to learn to look on the bright side. Not sure what that is for you, but, you know.
Okay. All right, we got to go. We got a ski daddle. We got a point too, didn't we? Okay, so let's let's think about this for a second. Um I think I want to like I said I want to go back to s strength. Um But we could, if we wanted to, we could take Gunslinger 2 because we have an effective three points. The only problem with that, though, we are eventually going to come across Lucky Looter Glasses and Nerdy Glasses. <clears throat> and I will wear those two over the agility ones, and, and then we lose that effect, right? So let's hold off on that for now, and let's start focusing on strength. I want to start getting strength up so I can get higher points in Boomstick, Skull Crusher, Sexy T, and the two mining skills. All right, so we're going to throw this sucker in strength, because I think we have all of those at one right now, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. So these guys only require uh, two, so the next two points I'll probably put into there. Um, and then I'll put another point into strength to get it up to three, and then I can do boom stick, skull crusher, and sexy T, right? Oh no, we can do sexy T right now. Okay. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna gonna focus on. Okay, so where are we at? We are heading south. There's quite a bit of land to the east of us. But because we're full up, um, well, here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to, where's our town at? Okay, so our town is, a, is right about, I don't know, 12, 1300 north-ish or so. So let's go south to about 1300 north. And then we're going to cross over back to the town, to our town here, because we have no space left, so we can't really loot anything else. I, I still want to hit bird's nest, though, so uh, we don't have any room for eggs, do we? Shit. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Here, look. Shit! Don't be doing that to me when I'm in my inventory. That's rude. That son of a bitch infected us. Oh, man, I don't have any honey with me either. We might have to make a beeline for home now. We, we've got to take a honey. Well, you know what, though? i got other antibiotics, so if we don't get home before that expires, it's not the end of the world for us. Well, it is the end of the world, but you know what I mean. Okay, anyway, what, what was I doing? Uh, let's eat this. That frees up a slot. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to actually chuck that. We're going to, we're going to put the feathers in here so that way we can continue looting bird's nests. And let's put, it doesn't really matter, let's put the gold in here. Anything that we're not likely to, to find again. So that way we have one slot left for any, any more eggs that we might find. Okay, let's just stick with the plan. I'm not going to stop or loot except for bird's nest <laughs> um we'll go down to the to the 1300 the 1300 100 parallel or whatever you want to call it and then we'll cross over but we're not gonna we're not gonna dilly dally because i'm infected now so i gotta get back home i'd prefer to only have to take one honey to fix that but we've got to we've got to do that before the infection gets to five percent or, or one honey won't work. Okay, we got a road here. Oh, dang it. We're out of time, too, aren't we? All right, guys. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to let you go. And I'm just going to keep going south, uh, like I said. That's a pretty damn big river, isn't it?
Can he hit me under the water? Doesn't look like it, but he's going to nab me as soon as I get out. Mofo. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to keep heading south until I get to 1300, then I'm going to turn west and head back home. So, um, not sure what we're going to do in the next episode. We'll figure it out, though. And, of course, if I happen to luck out and find the Green Biome or the Mega City before then, we will start the next episode at that point. Otherwise, I'll probably see you guys back at the base. And um, we'll figure out what we're going to do from there. I mean, Horde Night's coming up pretty soon, and I would like to do the next Horde Night at the Horde base at the football stadium. So we'll probably just hang around town and, you know, mine and scrap stuff and that sort of thing. Okay, guys, catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.